This week on OSRL, we just finished building our earth bag root cellar, and now it's time to start on the next big phase of our house build. But we get interrupted with a big rainstorm. How will the root cellar handle all this water? So what are you doing out here uh, messing around with all these rocks? I'm trying to get kind of a rough floor plan for the rest of the house. <laughs> you don't like uh, computers, huh? We'll just do, do this the uh, old fashioned way. I don't even know if this is the old fashioned way. I think this might be the prehistoric way. <laughs> I need to be like in the space. I need to see like how I can move around in the space. Hey, I understand physically. that. Also, what are you doing with that hoe? It's my measuring stick. UV will wet that spot for you. Oh. She put some extra water in there. She's very thoughtful. What's this particular bit gonna be for? Do some inside the dome. Oh, okay. Because you keep bugging me about that. Well, you did say you wanted to do it. How do you reach that? I don't know. This might be the hardest part yeah, to this reach. This one's gonna be tricky. Someone had to go and build a rocket mass heater in your way. Come on, upper body strength, you got it. Oh! Nice. Okay, so after some finagling, I think we got the, the ladder in place. I think that'll work. Tell me, uh, tell me how you feel up there. Is it feeling sturdy? It's pretty sturdy. Good, 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 good. Okay, and... Oh, you can kind of reach it, huh? Mm -hmm. That's gonna collapse. That's all gonna collapse. There's, if you could somehow keep that from collapsing, I would be impressed. Although we use the rocket mass heater for a lot of our heat with the dome, we still do use some propane. So uh, I've been wanting something like this for a while, which is a propane level indicator. And I'm kind of excited to try this out because sometimes it's like, you're just kind of guessing how much propane you got, or you kind of lift up the tank to kind of check the level. But this hopefully provides a little bit more accuracy and just a kind of a quick visual check. So let's get this installed and we'll see how it works. Okay, so very easy to install. Let's get the attachment for the heater on there. OK, 
Okay, you ready? I'm turning the gas on. Okay, well, I'd like to see that all the way up to the top because it is full, but uh, we'll just, uh, we'll see how this works. We'll let you know. Well, you're really getting around, huh? So while the majority of work is done here with the root cellar, there's always, there's going to be little things to do here and there with the root cellar, with the dome, little odds and ends, things we're going to do in between some of the larger projects. Like Jess here is adding to the cob wall up there, some to the cob wall and some to the earth bag wall, right? Yeah, I'm just filling in any little cracks and any bags that are still visible I'm covering up some crack spackle <laughs> if you remember crack spackle you're probably old <laughs> dang Jess is that a short sleeve shirt it is isn't this January it is quick can you do something for me what show off them guns do a double oh look at that Uh-oh, we got a rainy day. <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. It's going to slow down the planning process a little bit, but uh, or at least getting things marked out. But it'll give me time to get something down on paper, which is going to be absolutely necessary. We'll still have time to kind of mark things off. Just really needs to kind of be and see the physical space. But for me, I really need to get things down on paper so I can kind of get a list going, figure out the measurements, all that kind of detailed stuff. Uh, for her, it's just all about being able to live in that space. She wants to make sure she has a decent amount of space to do what she wants to do in there. So completely understandable. And we got to bring these two sides together. But in the meantime, I'm loving this rain. I'm hoping we get all topped off again. That would be very nice. We could use it. We can use it. It's supposed to be for the next few days. So we'll see how much rain we get. This is excellent. I love it. Good cloudy morning, y'all. Oh, man, it is a beautiful, cloudy day. Uh, you know, I usually love the sunny days, but uh, I'm pretty fond of the cloudy ones as well. Sometimes it means rain, and in this case, it does mean rain. It rained for uh, quite a bit yesterday. You know, we'll take it. And, um, but I'm curious to see how much rain we got through the day yesterday, and then we got some more last night. How much did we get? Let's find out. All right, looking at the rain gauge. Woo! Looks like almost half an inch, about four tenths of an inch. Not bad, not bad at all. And we're supposed to get some more rain today. Uh, I love it. I'm pretty sure our poly tanks are probably full again already. Now we're just getting a little bit more water in these IBC totes. Can't complain, can't complain. We can use it. It's nice to get that little recharge because then we got that dry spell coming up before the next monsoons. UV here is loving the wetness. UV, you loving the wetness? You loving the wetness? 
You having fun playing in the mud? She loves it. But even though it's wet, even though it's a little chilly, we still got a lot of planning to do. And I think Jess and I, we're gonna get back to sort of like detail in the house and we're gonna let you guys know kind of what our plan is. And we've talked a little bit about it before, but um, I think some people might have missed it. Some people are still wondering how we're gonna keep water from getting down into the root cellar. I mean, it's raining now. <laughs> uh, but uh, luckily, kind of light rains and light rains like that, it's not gonna affect the root cellar. But when the monsoons come, we're definitely gonna want the second part of the house finished. <laughs> Got a <our> guard dog. <laughs> Someone wanted some love from Mama. I was going to feed the chickens, but I got intercepted. Mm, she's good at that. <laughs> she's like, I need to be taken care of first. <laughs> All right, so I picked up some uh, marking spray paint. Uh, Jess, how do you feel about the uh, spray paint versus moving all the rocks around? Kind of like the rocks. Well, the rocks are nice. But it's going to take a while to mark out an entire house with rocks. <laughs> That's what you like to do, though. Well, maybe it'll get the idea down a little quicker, and then and you can still use rocks if you want. Use your rocks. <laughs> you can mark the furniture on the rocks. Doing a whole house planning here. Oh, <laughs> careful. Did you give it a good shake? Got your spraying technique down, I like that. You know what? Well, I know one thing that that's, this is marked out to 15 feet and you decided 16 feet. So it's actually a foot longer than that. <laughs> What's your new way of making cob? Show us your cob shoes. Walk on some mud and then walk on some straw. <laughs> there you go, you got it. Straightest line in the world. Really? <laughs> I think it's good enough for what you need, right? Yeah. <laughs> you got more got more rocks in your way. 
You want me to kick them out of the way? Beautifully done, ma'am. There you go, your new house is marked. You don't mark that one. I'm not going to. <laughs> you kind of know where that one's going to be, right? <laughs> yeah. So with the rains we just got, I'm pretty sure it probably filled up our poly tanks again. Those things are full. Yeah, you know, we didn't use that much water from the last rainfall we got. So I'm gonna take advantage of this. I'm gonna put a little extra water into the satellite IBC tow, probably about 125 gallons. You know, if we get another one tenth, two tenths of an inch of rain, the poly tanks are gonna be filled again. It's almost a drop in the bucket. Might as well take advantage of the little bit extra water we can, uh, cause once it starts raining, it's supposed to start raining tonight probably go all the way through tonight and tomorrow so waste not want not <laughs> all right looks like you've been busy out here mm -hmm. i kind of marked out roughly this is all a rough rough draft yeah where all the rooms might be all right, do you want to take them on a little tour? Yeah, I'll show you around. And also remember, there's going to be a roof going up here. And I know we mentioned that numerous times in a video every now and then, but... Yeah, we're not living outside. We're not living outside. The there'll open be, skies. There'll be rooms <laughs> and a roof and everything. Where should I start? Start at the beginning and work your way to the end. Start over on the other side. Yeah. Take us around, show us, show us what you got. Show us what you're working with. Ha! Oh, okay, right here? Sure, right. this is probably going to be like the main entrance of the house. Okay. Or somewhere around here. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this is pretty rough. So we'll enter the house and... Okay, this is the house the house i'm in the house right now so the south side of the house we want an attached greenhouse and that's what this will be so this whole south side is a greenhouse whole south side south side -ida. except for the dome side so we got the entrance to the for the stairway to the root cellar right there. And then over this way, this is how we get into the dome. And that will be all enclosed. Yes. Everything here is enclosed. Because we're inside. Um, there will probably be a doorway right here. And then we enter into the laundry room. I thought this might be a good place for the laundry room um, because we have a downspout from the dome where we can get rainwater and we can use that water for laundry. So this will be a point of use for the water. Good. You want everything as closely as possible. Yep. And then we can have the gray water from the laundry go out into our basin, which is right over there. I want a nice size closet for storing uh, things like hats and coats and boots. So they'll probably go in here. Then we'll probably have a doorway going out the back here so I can have like a easy access to a clothesline out there. Now I'm outside the house. Then we'll have another door right here and this is I guess it, it would kind of be like a spare bedroom but we'll probably be using it for our dog Yuvia she gets her own room wow 
Next over here is going to be the kitchen. This is the root cellar here, part of the root cellar. And uh, it's not quite this big, but the, the pond liner is kind of coming over here. But I think the one of the walls of the kitchen might go partially over the root cellar. And because of that, I didn't want to have any of the like heavy things over that area. So I do want like a bench and we might make like an earthen bench um, and a seating area. So that'll be over here along the north wall and maybe going up to the root cellar over here. And then we can have a table. I don't know quite yet where to put the refrigerator, but it might go here possibly. <laughs> and then over here, we'll have some counter space, uh, probably a stove top and a sink on this side. That's where the sink will go? Yeah, along the east side. Um, I'm gonna try to keep all the plumbing uh, along the same like wall Thank on you. the east side. <laughs> yeah, make it a little easier for Jim. Reduce costs and more efficiency. Yep. And what else? Great right here. Along the east wall, we'll probably have a pantry. We're talking about possibly doing like um, a pantry on the lower level and then like a balcony above that, kind of coming off of the east side of the house. I can see it now. And finally, we need a bathroom. So that's going to be over here next to the kitchen. We'll have a doorway coming out of the kitchen and bathroom kind of out onto the top of the root cellar. Maybe we can have like a little closet space next to the doorway, a toilet, <laughs> uh, Probably a sink in the corner. Wait, where's the toilet gonna go? Our inquiring minds wanna know. Right, right here. <laughs> then a sink in the corner with some counter space on both sides. Maybe we have a shower in the other corner and some more closet or cabinet space on the other side of the doorway. Nice. Then I don't, I didn't uh, put this in my design or anything. I didn't mention it to Jim either, but I marked out a space for possibly like another bathroom that you can access from the outside. So I don't have to go as far to poop? Yeah. I'm always a fan of that. Sometimes you got those emergencies. And one more thing, on top of the root cellar here, where we put these straw bales, uh, we'll probably be doing like a straw bale garden up here. And then we'll have more growing space around in our greenhouse area. <laughs> We're expected to get some rain soon. So I think we'll uh, gonna huddle up someplace where it's dry, try and stay warm, maybe run the rocket mass heater a little bit and uh, just stay dry and toasty warm. Cozy. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Well, it's another rainy day. With all this rain, it's gonna be tough to get anything done out here. It's just uh, way too muddy, everything like that. But I, we do appreciate getting all this extra water. Now I did uh, pump a bunch of water yesterday, pump some water into that IBC tote, pump some water into the trailer. So we should be good to go for a while. 
rained just about all last night. It's supposed to rain pretty much for most of today. And uh, we're already at two tenths of an inch of rain. So that is, that is pretty good. But it is, it's beautiful out here. I'm loving the clouds, I'm loving the rain. Yeah, we'll let you know if we get any more, but uh, very exciting. laying in the mud. Are you my muddy buddy? Are you my muddy buddy? She's not amused. All right, so we got a little break in the rain. And uh, what are we at here? We're at, oh wow, about uh, three tenths of an inch. So with this rain and the rain we got yesterday, man, it's almost up to about an inch, probably pretty close to about an inch. That's pretty wild. But uh, I thought, wow, almost an inch of rain. Let's go check and see how the root cellar is. Uh, a lot of people are concerned about water getting into the root cellar. And eventually we will be putting a roof over this whole thing. So water won't be an issue. People are generally concerned, like, what are you, gonna, what are you guys going to do with the water? It's going to cascade down those steps. And during a heavy monsoon rain, it, it, definitely, it definitely could if we didn't get a roof over it. But eventually we will. But let's. But now it's completely uncovered. Got almost an inch of rain. It's unprotected. Definitely a lot of water getting into this stairwell. Let's see how it looks. You know, it's definitely wet. But I'm looking at the step over here, the threshold by the door. That looks dry. But we'll see. We'll see. Did we get any inside? It is dry as a bone down here. So you would think it'd be really wet down by the uh, bottom of the steps. That's where any possible rain would get in here, and it's looking really nice. This is fantastic news. That's pretty wild actually, and it's uh, probably due a little in part to uh, some of the earthworks I've done right around here. You know, I put a little bit of, uh, mounted some dirt up right at the top of the steps, and I even mounted some dirt right at the bottom of the steps. So I really think that went a long way in keeping the water out. Now, of course, if we got a torrential rain where we got a, maybe a couple inches of rain, is that going to keep it out? No, that's, you know, a huge area for water to get to. But uh, hopefully, before the monsoon seasons come, we'll have the roof over on top of that. So the root cellar still looking good with about an inch of rain. Can't complain. So we got a, almost a half an inch of rain the other day. And now we're up to almost a half an inch today. Of course, uh, we're going to get some more rain probably later on this evening. Probably some more rain tonight. And then we'll probably end up probably pretty close to an inch, I might think. And, um, you know, despite pumping uh, that extra water into that IBC tote, the poly tanks are full, overflowing again. So uh, pro we're probably going to end up with uh, about an inch of rain. You know, after uh, yesterday's rain, today's rain, tonight's rain. I don't think people even know that there's going to be something over this root cellar yet. We get that question a lot. A lot of people are like, how are you going to keep water from flooding that? But there's a house that goes over this. Okay, yeah. I mean, hopefully <laughs> we kind of explain that here and we're going to be going over uh the plans more <laughs> as well so you'll get to see how it all comes together so yeah unfortunately we got rained out and uh couldn't get that much work done uh, not that we're doing a whole lot right now right now we're in a planning phase and unfortunately you couldn't even get everything worked out yeah this time we're really trying to get things worked out we had an idea of what we wanted to do but we really want to get things set in stone we want to make sure I want to make sure you're happy with the space and also we have to be able to build it right and we have to have the budget to build it which you know 
you know, we gotta make sure we got uh, the funds to do it. I think we got something pretty much worked out. So we're, uh, we'll do some more planning in the next one. But I think in the next video, we'll definitely get into the nitty gritties of sort of like how we're gonna construct it, the materials and everything like that. So definitely wanna catch that video. And then I think pretty soon we'll be breaking ground on the next phase of this house. And we'll get a roof over this thing before the next monsoon season. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, we're just going to enjoy the rain and enjoy the uh, cloudy days. You know, sometimes we don't get them too often. And uh, I don't know. I wonder if this is going to be the last big rain before, you know, the dry season. We'll see. You never know. But this might have to last us. So we'll see. We'll see if we get any more rains and if we can make it to the monsoons. That probably be, won't be until July. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully we get some more rain. But. That's a long time from now. It is, it is. All right, y'all. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye.